Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Zach Moses with uh, New Deeds. Um, today I'm just going to talk about uh, what sort of, uh, you know, uh, profound effects my best friends have had on my life. Um, first and foremost, uh, my very first, like, you know, best friend, friend, so to say, uh, this guy Alex Plotkin. Um, you know, at the age of 12, we were up with our parents at some cabin um, in the woods and there was a, a creek and we were just kind of hanging out and there was a big, big slide, um, kind of a downward slope going into the creek. And I ended up um, actually falling and sliding down this slope. Um, and I went right into this, it, sorry, it was more like a river. Um, and um, it was it was pretty ferocious and um, I you know I was strong I had uh, done you know a lot of swimming classes at that point and um, I was holding on to the edge um, but I couldn't quite get up off the edge but I was fine holding on to the edge of like you know this piece of uh, uh, moss what may have you um, and I, I was like Alex please you know come help me and um, you know he risked himself sliding down uh, the the thing. Uh, in hindsight, I should have told him to go, but I don't even know if I could have held on to the moss. The current was just really just that ferocious, so it was almost like you know really fight or flight, life or death situation. Um, so uh, I'm calling for Alex, and Alex, you know, navigates his way down without you know falling like I did, and um, comes to the edge and you know picks picks uh, picks. picks picks me up, so to say, out of the current, um, and, and, and we both make our way up. Uh, later on, we actually heard that uh, about four or five people had died in that exact river uh, that year, and it was almost a yearly occurrence that people died. Um, it was, it's just a tremendous downwards drop into the river, and the current really gets going. Like I said, I had trouble getting up out of the current when I was holding on to the edge. So. Um, that was definitely, <laughs> you know, a very profound experience. I still remember this day and I'm still so thankful to Alex. I, I told him, you know, not like around a year ago, we don't, we're not, you know, uh, friends like some of my other best friends who I've, you know, kept on and on. But I told him like, hey, I'm still so thankful for you going ahead and, you know, doing that and saving my life, you know, like really like saving my life, you know, when we were, when we were 12 years old. Um, and, uh, you know, the next person is definitely, you know, Wyatt, um, he like, uh, came in, well, we knew each other when we were 12, but really came into each other's life when we were around like 16 and, um, we just were inseparable. I mean, we went to all the parties, went, went on snowboarding trips, did everything together. Um, and, uh, I was kind of like a, I want to say just a hyper kid um, who was insecure a little bit. Um, it, I, I had a major growth spurt from like my senior year in high school, 18 to, uh, you know, my college years, I grew to six foot. Um, so it was, you know, I was it, just different things. Anyways, he helped me so much um, in terms of self growth. I would get angry at situations and why it would help me uh, cal calm me down. Um, you know, he's such a stoic, chill dude. Um, and, and just like, I mean, if you knew the guy, you'd just be like, man, this guy is legitimately the best person on the planet. Like, he's just a great person. Um, and, you know, he, he has just, I've had situations where I've been angry at someone, you know, road rage or what may have you, and he's just, Zach, this is stupid. You know, and I've learned from him exponentially. So uh, he has been just such a light in my life. Um, and, and, and I'm so grateful for the relationship I have. He has let me sleep on his couch in the past. Um, when, when I graduated from college and I was looking for a job, um, has let me money in the past everything um this guy has just been like and and, and I, you know uh, I, I am so grateful to him and he knows it i tell him you know like it just for the light he is in my life and hey i've done things for him but it's immeasurably uh, tilted and i always am trying to you know uh sort of balance the seesaw so to say um but he has just done so much for me i'm just so grateful um you know i i, I don't know if i could ever pay him back um, and uh, so, you know, the next, the next friend is definitely Jason, Jason Short. 
um, you know, he was like one of my best friends from the age of 16 on, and uh, we hung out all the time. Uh, I, the, the guy's even taken a punch from me. I mean, this one time we're at this Isla Vista party, and uh, I was I was walking through, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, totally a mistake, but this guy's whole cup as we were walking by ended up going on my shirt. So I had like all his beer on my shirt, and the guy was smaller than me, and I was like, fuck you, man, this is like some bullshit. And I kind of got in his face. Well, the guy was like totally back down then because I was bigger than him, blah, blah, blah. But he went and got his friends. <laughs> and, 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 and so I was in the party and all of a sudden, I, like, I didn't even see the person. This huge guy just comes and clocks me in the back of the head. And for some reason, I mean, I, it's, it's, I've always been able to take a hit. I literally didn't fall down. I, and, and like people couldn't even believe it. I mean, I just took the hit. And so then Jason kind of squared up with him. I was kind of a little delirious because I had just taken this huge hit, but I was still standing up and Jason kind of squared up with him. And then Jason kind of went at him and like, we ended up getting out of there. But I mean, it could have ended up really, really badly for me. And, um, you know, um, and, and, you know, I've, I, you know, one time I, you know, I, I've done things for Jason in the past too, but I, you know, the, he, his, and, and, and in turn, I've learned from him how to, you know, be relaxed and cool. He is the chillest motherfucker. I mean, anything even happened, Jason's just like, I don't give a fuck, dude. He's just like a chill, like calm, cool dude. And I've learned like how to be chiller and more relaxed through him. So uh, just such a great teacher for me, such a great friend. I love Jason. Um, Chris Westerfield. Now, Chris is just such a character. He's incredibly intelligent, and um, I feel like a little underachieved uh, for, for how intelligent he is. Um, but, you know, in turn, uh, he has kicked my ass in so many ways. You know, it's just like, I'm messing up here, I'm messing up there. Chris is there, like, hey, you know, who, Zach, what are you doing? You know, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is stupid. Like, you know, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, he's been a great teacher in terms of, and there's a resonance here. You know, I've had some issues in terms of, you know, getting uh, angry, aggressive with, 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 with men who I think have gone ahead and wronged me. Never with women because, you know, I was kind of raised by my mom and my sister. So I've always just stay calm. And if anything ever happens, I just kind of like exit the situation with any, with any of the women I'm with. But um, they'll tell you I don't yell. I don't like, you know, I've never hit a woman in my life. I can honestly say that. But, um, you know, with guys, you know, I have gotten, you know, testy and I've gotten many fist fights and, you know, I've had my ass beaten and I've beaten some fucking ass. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it, it, it just, it just to teach their own. Um, but Chris has just, you know, helped me stay calm. And I, I don't like that whole stuff in terms of like fighting and all that. That's mostly in the past, unless someone really comes at me. Um, I, I, I do still have some honor and, um, you, know, you know, some self-respect that I, that I kind of live by. Um, now, Alex Davis. Alex Davis, he has been one of my best friends since I've been like 12 years old. Uh, we have gone, I mean, so many adventures. Uh, we have started businesses together. Uh, the, he has been just been such a light in my life. The guy is an incredible businessman. I've learned a lot of, through business. Um, and he's great socially, so I've learned you know, some great social aspects from him. He, he's just been a wonderful teacher for me in general. And you know, there, there was a time when uh, you know, a lot of people abandoned me because of things that nothing to do with me, but because of you know, with my family, something happened. He was right there for me. I mean, we were hanging out every weekend, you know, like I was, you know, it, it, he was right there for me. The guy is just a straight up wonderful person. And I love Alex Davis to the core. Um, the next one is Giovanni Lupus. Uh, Giovanni came into my life uh, when I was probably 23. Um, he, we ended up becoming roommates and uh, he's never left my life. He's just a wonderful person. Um, he's, he's from Italy, from Rome. Uh, he's definitely my best, one of my best friends now. Um, we talk like every day. He's a lawyer now. Um, and you know, he's, he's just, he's, you know, pretty, pretty dad. I mean, he's an accomplished lawyer. He's worked for Disney. Um, right now he's working for ITV. He's about to fly to London for a conference. I mean, he's, he's pretty big time. Um, and, uh, he actually had so much difficulty passing the bar. Uh, he took it over eight times. And I mean, there's, you know, some resonance for that because of course he is Italian and English is not his native language. Um, so I mean, but he kept going at it and I'm tell you when we go out to the clubs or like when we went and, you know, and like, uh, when we go and party, uh, he will go up to Every single girl, I'm telling you, he will go up to a girl and then he will go up to the girl right next to that girl. 
<laughs> and, and I've literally seen uh, like one girl um, say no and the girl right next to that girl say yes. And it, it's like, it's, I, I've never seen anything like it. And like, uh, like I, I don't have that big of balls, but you know, I've learned to kind of like go after what I want through him. He's been such a great teacher. And I love the guy. He's so ballsy. Um, so, you know, these are like, you know, my best friends, the people who have like really impacted me the most in my life. Um, and, and all of them are really in my life, except for the first one I mentioned, Alex Plotkin. and we were, uh, we just kind of, you know, separated, but we still talk sometimes. He's, he's a, he's a chill dude. Um, but you know, it, it, they've all impacted me in some way. And, um, you know, uh, go ahead and ask your friends, lean on your friends, you know, whenever you're feeling like things can get, uh, you know, a little better because they will help you. Uh, this is Zach Moses. I'm with New D's. Everyone have a good one.